Scientists at Harvard and Caltech, together with Continuum, have created a new state of matter called non-abelian topological order on a quantum computer. But how do you know if you've created something new on a quantum computer? Extraordinary claims about creating things on quantum computers have led to miscommunication and controversies before. You might remember this news that physicists have created a wormhole in Google's quantum computer. Wormhole, like an interstellar. They created that apparently in a lab. Many news outlets reported on the same idea, but unfortunately this was seriously misled, as what the scientists had really done was simulate an oversimplified model that maybe has wormhole-like features. Physicist Dr. Carlo Rovelli has described that if creating a wormhole was like building a rocket, then what the quantum computer did was make a paper drawing of a rocket. You can watch Veritasium's video or read any of these articles to learn more about this. So this time, did scientists really create a new state of matter on a quantum computer? This will be the guiding question for our discussion today. We'll discuss what's special about this non-abelian topologically ordered state of matter, why it has been hard to create so far, and what the researchers achieved. At the end, you can decide for yourself. If you're new here, Welcome to Quantum News Monthly. I'm Debo. And I'm Mingyu. We're quantum computing researchers who explain the science behind the coolest breakthroughs in this field. Without further ado, let's dive into the science. Continuum and team say that they've created non-abelian topological order and anions on a trapped iron processor. Which basically translates to, we created this exotic state of matter on our quantum computer. What makes this state special is very interesting, but very complicated, so we'll water it down. Basically, non-abelian anions are quasi-particles, or particle-like excitations, that can remember how they are moved around each other. This special memory property, which scientists call grading, means that you can make error resistance qubits out of them. This makes them highly coveted for topological quantum computing. Topological computing is also a player in the quantum race, but experimental progress in this tech has been tough because making the devices is really hard. Now, anions are pretty interesting because they have something called fractional quantum statistics. And among anions, there's abelian and non-abelian anions. Abelian anions are cool, but non-abelian anions are even more exotic and harder to realize. And we can perform gates only on non-abelian anions. So they are the cornerstone of topological quantum computing. So up until recently, non-abelian topological order has just been a theory. The best known way to create topological qubits is to develop a semiconductor superconductor header structure in state-of-art fabrication labs and operate them at extremely low temperature. Microsoft has been pursuing this direction precisely, but like I said, it's been very hard to produce devices of the required near-perfect quality. However, the Quantinium team took a different approach with their trapped ion processor, which boasts all-to-all -all connectivity and very high operational fidelity. You see, quantum computers can be used to control quantum states really well. So while non-abelian topological qubits are still hard to realize in solid-state devices, the Hamiltonian, or energy equation, that's behind the topological order can be theorized more easily. So following this Hamiltonian, the team prepared their qubits in a Kagome lattice pattern like this, where each line represents interaction between two qubits. The pattern also wraps around in both directions to give a donut-type shape. To create this model, they used a total of 30 qubits and 78 two-qubit gates. And when they did all that, they were able to create some anions. But the real test still remains. Are any of these anions non-abelian? The unique differentiator of non-abelions is that you can break them. So the team did just that. They picked some non-abelian excitations and braided them. The paper appendix has a detailed list of anions and braiding rules that you can study if you're a condensed matter expert or a masochist. But simply put, the scientists demonstrated the key braiding operations needed for topological computing using pairs and even a triplet of non-abelian anions. So cool. And this is where the magic of quantum mechanics shines. The model preparation and braiding are done with gate-level operations on individual qubits or pairs of qubits. But then what you get is a long-range entanglement structure, or topological order, where the quantum information is stored over the whole system rather than at individual qubits. Also, upon braiding, the topological information is remembered by the whole lattice wave function. But the big question remains, did they create a topologically ordered state of matter or merely simulate it? Did they create the rocket or just the drawing?
For the first time on the show, we actually don't agree on the answer to this question. So I think this is still a drawing of a rocket. It's maybe a sophisticated cat drawing. Because for a solid state topological qubit, the idea of braiding is to physically move these quasi-particles, swapping the position of this pair. Meanwhile, for trapped ions, this moving process is in some sense simulated by the gates between the trapped ion qubits that represent the lattice sites. But I think the continuum team and the co-authors actually created a rocket. Although it's an unconventional rocket, maybe it's like a 3D printed rocket. That's because topological order is created when the Hamiltonian is implemented via the single and two qubit gates. The anions live in the entangled structure of the whole collection of ions. So their movement might look different, but the gates they implement do move the anions. Yeah, I totally agree that doing gates between qubits is analogous to physically moving quasi-particles in matter. They're both local and don't destroy the topological state. But conceptually, I don't think a lattice of qubits and real matter are the same thing. Well, of course they're not the same thing. Just like two kinds of rockets are not the same. But when it comes to topological order, other quantum systems can also achieve that if they recreate the desired Hamiltonian, right? So whether the Hamiltonian is inherent in the physics of the material or it's applied using gates, topological order is cre actually created in both cases. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, but after all, trapped ion platforms will not use these topological states as building blocks for an actual quantum computer, right? Yeah, they probably won't. The team did pull off an incredible feat as they have created and braided non-abelions for the first time. But it's not practical for trapped ions to mimic topological quantum computers. Given the computational cost of doing so, it doesn't scale very well. So what do you think? Was this a creation or just a simulation of a topologically ordered state? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to comment your questions and suggestions for future video topics. And make sure to subscribe and tune in to next week's video where we talk about whether quantum computers can cure cancer. We're serious, that's the topic. <laughs> All right, see you next week.